Hello beautiful Scorpio. How are you today? The cards have been pre-shuffled. Six shuffles. So let's get started with your reading for beautiful Scorpio friends. We have Justice, Libra Energy. So you may have Libra in your chart. Many Scorpios have Mercury and Venus in Libra. You have, you're finding balance. You're really finding your equilibrium right now. It is time to look into the future and decide what you would like to do with the rest of your life, at least for the next two years. We're getting the Eight of Wands. You are taking a, that leap of faith into the future. This can be air travel. It's a lot of rapid communication coming in. It's all about passion and just living in the moment. It's really uh, gorgeous. It's I always laugh and say the bed springs may break, but everybody has memory foam, so I guess we're safe. All right. So what is going on? How is the world viewing you? The Five of Wands, and that's how you're viewing the world. You have a mixed sort of a bag of what you think and what you feel. Uh, Five of Wands says that there's a little bit of internal struggle going on with you, but look at in your heart space. You are manifesting whatever it is that you want, Scorpio. You are a master magician. How do you view what's going on around you right now in your love life? Hi, Priestess. You're very intuitive. You're tuning into the vibes. You're trusting your intuition. You may have even some telepathic communication. You may have some very vivid dreams in the near future that will tell you what is going to happen next in your love life. Scorpios are very psychic. You know, it's that eighth house. Eighth house, life, death, rebirth. But this is Cancerian energy. So it's like you're nurturing that that beautiful intuition that you have. The Three of Swords says what's hidden is that you still have heartbreak over someone or something. It could have been a third party situation. You felt like you were a competitor. You felt as though you had to find balance where there was none. Okay. Spirit is saying leave it alone, walk away. Leave the broken heart behind and look at these two beautiful cards here. Use your intellect, oh Scorpio, you guys are so brilliant. You and Geminis actually have a lot in common. Um, it's interesting. Uh, the Ace of Wands, you want a passionate new beginning and you, you uh, have this stability. You have really gathered yourself after a terrible heartbreak. You have listened to the advice of spirit. You've left heartache behind and you are really rebirthing right now. You're in this very stable and yet very fiery and passionate energy. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the clarifiers. What do we have? Okay, Justice card. You were not treated fairly in the past. Somebody walked, you know, into a different future. Um, it looks as though when the fork in the road came, they walked past you, I'm sorry to say. Uh, so the, the wounding that I see here and here is being explained with these two energies, okay? So good news is, is that they're over. Why is the Eight of Wands here for beautiful Scorpio? Seven of Cups, you are going to keep your options open. You are going to let people work their way or earn their way into your heart. In the meantime, you're going to take, you're not going to make snap judgments. You're going to keep your options open. You're going to go through a lot of communication before you make a decision about anybody. The Seven of Wands, beautiful energy. So there is a lot of fire sign energy here. You may be dealing with the fire sign, but what we have is Seven of Wands, and Seven of Wands is really taking care of yourself. Going from this feeling of being challenged and you know people always sort of, you almost feel like, They've just pulled you into a lot of drama that's not who you are and it's not how you feel. You're very much at peace. You're very, very much in a spiritual, almost a namaste you know, kind of energy that's beautiful for you. It's very self-protective, but that's okay. You know, you have reason not to just randomly trust people. Your experiences have been, you know, at least in the past heartbreaking situation that you trusted somebody very rapidly 
and this person was not actually trustworthy. Now these cards fell out and I always feel that that's significant. You know me. Uh, for those of you who've read with me for a while, but look at this. Somebody that you thought you would marry, and you should have, you have the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups. This is engagement. These cards together are an engagement. The ring, the party, the bridesmaids, quote unquote, uh, the friends that come to your wedding that celebrate life with you are there. The Ace of Coins is there. The Two of Cups is here. And yet, somebody, whoever broke your heart, whoever caused this energy was not honest. And it's been a very, very difficult thing for you to handle. But here's the beauty of what I'm seeing. This falls away. See this? You've already identified that. And now you're moving into this beautiful energy of moving in this direction, finding somebody that represents the real deal instead of the fantasy of, okay? So fantasy turns to reality. It's beautiful. You've, you've really earned it. You're manifesting it. You know, it's, it's um, counterfeit love versus real love. And it was painful to acknowledge that your person didn't have the ability to be who they said they were. We get the energy for you, Scorpio, that, excuse me, um, that you have great clarity here. You know, you understand how this person created drama. You understand that your response to it is that you're healing, that you are healed. You are healed. But the memory of it is still playing on, and you have great clarity. When you manifest now, you will be more mindful. Uh, of what you manifest. You're not going to sort of leave it up to other people to to come to you. You're going to hold back. You're going to stay silent while you look at things in a very analytical way. And I feel Scorpio that you know you Scorpios are so brilliant, so instinctive, so natural in that knowledge, so intuitive. And we see that with that same intuition, Scorpio, you are going to have someone coming into your life if they're not. Or I think that they could already be near you, okay? So this is either near future or you've met the person. So they're, they're part of your future, but you already know who they are. So what does the Three of Swords represent down here? And what's hidden with Scorpio? What is the Three of Swords representing? Is it past, future, present? Tell us about this, okay. So it was the past, okay. We see this, a lack of manifestation. So it was somebody in the past. The hanged man, you're being very careful right now. You're looking at the situation. Somebody who was a player, somebody who you had fire in your belly for, somebody from whom you have healed, and look at this, throwing caution to the winds. Beautiful, okay, I like that. All right, what is the energy? Why is spirit just saying walk away from anything that doesn't feel happy? Always just walk away. You don't have to know the answers of why or why they didn't love you or why they caused drama. None of that matters. Spirit's saying go with your feelings and equal give and take. If something is not equal give and take, walk away. You know, basically spirit is saying to you, you know, don't be codependent. Don't take on other people's BS. You know, just a lot of you are empaths, I will say that. This reading is very indicative of healers and empaths. Scorpio is very good at all of that. And so Spirit is saying, don't take care of people right now. Take care of yourself. Be like the surgeon. Cut out any quote-unquote cancers. Oh, I don't mean that like the sign, obviously. But in other words, cut out anything that's toxic and still go for your passion. Hold your vision, Cancer. I mean, Scorpio. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. And that is the advice. And why is that the advice for Scorpio? Ah, <laughs> look at this. Uh, well, you are going to get an apology from someone who caused this problem. I don't see that you care about an apology. I don't think you need an apology. I feel as though they will give you one, but you're fine. You're fine without it, but look at what you have here. 
you have as your outcome by passionately moving forward, by using facts and intellectual energy, leaving some of your intuition aside. Uh, because what happens here is you get into healing mode. And so, and even Magus, even the magician is a healer. Magus, the Magus, the magician, heals thyself. So what we're seeing here is that your outcome is this beautiful, happily ever after energy. You have met this person. You have interacted with this person. We have one, two, three marriage cards. We have the engagement set. So you are in this process of meeting this person, learning about them, getting to know them, and you're going to let it happen the way it happens, but you're also going to stay very, very clear. You're going to let your intuition tell you that which is backed up by fact. You're going to take that journey that is uniquely you, but you're not going to let anybody sort of pull on your heartstrings and win a part of you that intellectually knows better. You're going to, you know, you're going to respond to your own emotions in a very appropriate way and, and get equal give and take. So let's see what the other energies are here for you, Scorpio. I love this energy for you. Your readings, you know, over I think last year in the winter really showed a process that you were achieving. Angel of Balance. Look at that was the first card out of the deck. The Angel of Balance, Scorpio. All right. It's time for a new love reading, too, I think, for everybody. Deceit. Yeah. See, you had somebody who deceived you. That's that. Seven of Swords was deceit. Financial constraints. So right now, it looks as though you have some obligations that you've taken on willingly, and you're being very careful with your money. So let's see what else we have. Patience. So patience pays off right now. Let's look and see what the whispers of love have to say for you in love. Look at this beautiful reading in front of you. You have manifested it. It is there. You also are, you know who this person is likely to be. All right. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Well, you're always kind, Scorpio. Look at that. Beautiful energy. Patience, patience. Have patience. This will take a hot minute or, a, you know, a hot, slow, lingering minute, but you are really balanced and you're super happy. I would say that when we see the card that um, is all about, wait a minute, I saw it. Where is it? Okay, the Eight of Wands. It's just you moving forward in a very brave way. And what we get with the Ten of Cups is just really feeling the happiness around children, around, you know, you could be a favorite aunt, a favorite uncle, you could have small children, you could be a grandparent, but it really, you know, your reading speaks volumes to the fact that you've created this, but now you're also going to create this energy with someone else. Cindy Ayla from Chicago, Scorpio. It was beautiful doing this reading for you. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Bye-bye.